In this video, we're going to continue optimizing your LinkedIn profile. And we are now at the section where we should think about adding media, uh, videos, links, presentations, uh, images to your LinkedIn profile. So let's take a look at how to do this, uh, what the mind map shares about this. So <clears throat> you want to look for the buttons that says add media, document, photo, link, video, presentation. I'll show you actually on the screen later. What, what, it sh what it looks like on LinkedIn. Uh, you can add media items to your summary section and also to each of your job positions or whichever ones you want to add. Uh, my suggestion is for the summary section, you probably should add at least two. And then for each of the most important recent job positions uh, or even a, a, an important previous job position, try to add at least one, okay? So what kinds of things could you add? And I'll just give you some examples of that right now. You could link to a certain page on your website so people can find out how to work with you, uh, your services page or your work with me page. You can link to one of your blog posts, your most popular or uh, well-received uh, piece of content like a blog post or video or podcast episode, um, infographic. Uh, you can link to a web page where you can invite people to opt in to your email list if you have one. Uh, if you have a slideshow or presentation online, like on slideshare.net, you can link to that. If you have any video testimonials about your services, that's also great to link to. Um, and just as you look around at other people's LinkedIn profiles, <clears throat> which we'll do in the next video, you can look at, see, see what kinds of things they add and what uh, give you some ideas for yours. Okay, so let's actually go to LinkedIn now and see how to add the, these media pieces, okay? I'm gonna actually use <clears throat> my wife's LinkedIn profile because on mine, uh, I've already added a bunch, so it, looks, it doesn't look the same as what you might be seeing. So my wife hasn't added any, any media yet, so this is more probably more faithful to what you'll be seeing on yours if you haven't added anything. So for, so I've scrolled down to her summary section and right, notice right below her summary section it says add media, document, photo, link, video, presentation. So they already give you some ideas of what you could add, right? A document could be your, maybe you've written a, um, a, a paper, a white paper or a special report or an article and you can add that, attach that here. Uh, a photo could be, uh, you know, some ideas could be if you have a photo taken with someone in someone who's well known in your industry, an author, a speaker, an expert, or it could be a photo of you doing your work. You know, in uh, uh, it could be a photo of uh, it could be an infographic, some graphic that explains some idea from your work. Okay, a link. Like I mentioned, can be linked to your website or a particular page on your website, like a work with me or services page. Video could be you talking for three minutes about what your services, how what makes your services so special, for whom it's best for, right? Or a, a video testimonial from one of your clients, slideshow presentation if you have that. So you basically this it's as simple as this. You click on it. It says you know I click on the links and then you just add the link and then click continue. I'll just give you an example. If I were to add um, the link to my services page, let's say, um, what it'll do, oh, by the way, sometimes, I'm glad this is being shown. Sometimes you'll get an error that says, sorry, there was a problem process processing a request, please try again, okay? When it, this actually happens surprisingly often on LinkedIn, okay? So what, what happens in that point is I simply um, reload the page. Okay, reload the page, scroll down to where it says add media, and I will simply try again. Try again here. Um, let's see what happens here. Okay, so it's basically loading what image. Okay, so this is important, right? Whatever web page you link to this, um, uh, it'll pull usually the first image that shows up on that web page. So you might you know, if you're if you're savvy enough with website design and you know how to add like a meta image, or specifically, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's you 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 tell the search engines uh, what image you want it to use, 
uh, you can do that and so to make sure you show the right one. But once you've added a link, so notice what I what I've done here. I've added a link and I scroll down and I get to dis <clears throat> I get to describe the title of that link and also the description of that link. So when people uh, and I'll actually show you on my own LinkedIn profile here. You can see this is uh, my LinkedIn profile and I have added uh, my services, right? So when someone goes there and oh actually this is my this is an edit screen. But let's just Let's use my wife's profile to go to, to view my LinkedIn profile and you can see what it looks like from here. So I've added my services. When I click on this, it actually opens a, a, a LinkedIn page describing what that link is. And look, the person looking at that link, special LinkedIn page for that link can even like it or comment on it. And then the read original is the actual one that goes to the link that I wanted to add to my profile. Okay, so back on my um, back on my wife's profile, when I was adding the link, I wouldn't add the link to my web web page to her profile. But uh, if she had a website and she were adding her her own, this is this is the title and the description of that pop up LinkedIn page that then they can go to that page. So if you, you might want to make it more clear in the description to say click read original below you know below to go to the actual website you know something like that I, I probably should update my links to say that as well okay so um, I'm not gonna click add to profile right now um, but if you did you would see it uh, come up um, but if you can see for each of your job positions <clears throat> for each of your job positions if you scroll down at the bottom of each position is also another opportunity for you to add media. Okay, um, see for each job position, there's opportunities to, to, to do that. So let's go back to the mind map and see if we're missing anything else about this. Um, okay, if you've already added media, how do you add more? Okay, so let's go to my profile and I'll show you. Um, uh, if I've already added media, okay, to my summary section, I've already added six things now I, I still need to optimize some of these things but um, I've already added six things I'm sorry five things <laughs> if I want to add more I look for these icons that are at the upper right of, of the section where I want to add the media so this icon I click on it, it allows me to add another icon and the icon could be even though it's a link it could either be um, a link to a video a link to a online slideshow it could be linked to an a, a, a online web page or you could upload a file for a document. Okay, so that's how you do that. Again, I'm going to scroll down to, um, you know, this is a, a job position that I've added media to already. There's no add more media buttons down here, but I can do that by moving my mouse up here and finding this icon. This icon that showing up next to the, the the job title. I can click on that to add more media. All right. Okay, so let's see what else is important. Um, okay, oh, after adding your, your media, use the view as tool at the top of your profile to see what your profile looks like to your connections. So yes, yeah, so instead of having to go to my wife's profile to, to see what it looks like, I could have actually gone to the very top of my profile and click on, um, oh, actually, okay, so where is the view as tool? Okay, scroll down and, um, you see in this section where your picture would be, your name, etc. right? Next to how many connections you have is view profile as. So I'm gonna click on this and this will say, this is what your profile looks to your, my, your first degree connections. So scroll down and then I can see, okay, so what happens when I click on one of the media things? Ah, this pop-up comes up and this is what, you know, uh, this is what's showing here. All right, so I hope that's helpful, and uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you my critique of someone's LinkedIn profile, so you can um, hopefully learn from that as well. All right, see you in the next video.